Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick video here where I'm going to jailbreak my iPhone and iPhone 5 here, uh, which is great because you can now jailbreak with iOS 7 untethered. Uh, it seems like it's available for all devices iPhone 4, 4S, the 5C, and this iPhone uh, on all various versions of iOS. Uh, but I'm going to do it on 7.4 at the moment here. Uh, so if we just go into settings here, general. Uh, about you can see 7.0.4 great stuff and iPhone 5 so what you basically need to do is I'm on a Mac right now uh, I assume that this software also is available for PC but it might not be available uh, this at the moment uh, Apple is probably going to patch this in the future uh, so just be sure uh, about that uh, you're going to have to download this Evasion jailbreak uh, this is version 1.0.1 .1, it seems at the moment uh, you just drag this one out to your desktop uh, and here we do have the jailbreak so um, you're just going to open that up and this is a very very simple program from, from what I can see here uh, so version 1.0.1 .1 here uh, I have uh, put in my iPhone here and we have the jailbreak program here that is recognizing some stuff here that I have the iPhone 5 Global, iOS 4 is supported. So you can see also in, in terms of inside of the program, if your device is supported, uh, I'm just gonna tap jailbreak and I'm just gonna have my device unlocked. And we're just gonna see what happens. So I'm just gonna go through the jailbreak process here. I already also tried it, so we shouldn't have any issues or anything. You should not have that. So it's uh, uploading data first, not injecting the Invasion app. So there we go. You can see we got the app here. Now it's conf configuring the system part two out of two. Now it's rebooting my device over here. And the jailbreak exploit are, are by the evaders at Twitter uh, and the graphic design is by Serenix here. Interesting. Okay, so now they say continue, please unlock your device and tap on the new Evasion 7 icon. I'm just gonna do that. It's gonna tap on this icon over here. And now it's going to reboot my device again and continue on the jailbreak process here. Process. And as well, this is a untethered jailbreak, which means that you will be able to use your iPhone, like just reboot it like normal. <coughs> you shouldn't have to use like a computer to do that, so that's good news. Now it says done here in the Vision 7 Jabric program. And it's probably finalizing the last things here
sweets see here it's gonna go with bumping up some uh, normal stuff that I usually change uh, I like to go switch up the brightness here uh, I also like to go into general uh, usage no Okay, great. So now you can see we do have a new logo here, um, Cydia logo. So you do get the Cydia app, which seems to be supported, have a new UI here for iOS 7, which is pretty nice actually. So, I mean, right now you're done. You are done as it's saying in the app, so you can probably just exit out all that if you would like. I'm just gonna wait here for it to finish up Cydia completely. I'm just gonna go with normal user. You can see first here it has the iOS 6 look, but I think it's going to do some updates here and you're going to have a new UI. I'm just going to upgrade these essential things. City installer, probably uh, the thing that's going to make the UI change. Yeah, this update here. Upgrade. It's going to continue here. can see here we do have a new fresh look here uh, that matches iOS 7 so yeah quick little look here how you can jailbreak the iPhone 5 and I might also do other videos on other phones if you're interested in that so yeah quick look peace out